EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Buffalo Bills. Kickoff now what? just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. As I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciate what you do to make an adjustment on defense. They've had an answer for it. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Philadelphia. I don't. I run the football. I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I want my running. And now off to the races down the right side. And looking good as they come up first and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. And some room to run now. 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. Tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get. That type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And it'll make this a second and long. Now they'll run it on the toss. Got some real estate inside the 30. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. For this offense going forward. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play? and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. The 20, 10, touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. Fun game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, Running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them. They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. There he goes, left side. And he feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. The state, but if you're the defensive coordinator, you cannot dwell on the fact you just gave up an explosive run. You have to look ahead. Check. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is in. Touchdown. Chicago for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big... But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there. Regulation. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Now they'll run it on the toss. He finds an opening past the 40. Fighting down past the 45. He won't go down. There he goes left side. And he takes this one in for a Bears at all. But what we just saw, we've seen a lot of broken tackles, and they're leading to a huge touchdown play. Yeah, none of them more glaring than what we just saw there, but we've seen it throughout this game, whether it's in tight, running through the line, out in open field. They haven't been able to get these runners down very well. At the twitch. Now they'll run it on the toss. They'll have a first down past the 40. It's a foot race. 20, 10. And he will get into the end zone. Better than I, he has the ability to take over a game, 
So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks... And now off to the races. Down. So much talk this week on the other side about slowing him down. Coming off that great performance, NFC Offensive Player of the Week last week. But long touchdown run there, nobody was stopping it. Yeah, good luck for that because that was an explosive run. You know, in the NFL, they described that happened in this case. And that play got bottled up. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he slipped. We might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already. And we've still got three quarters to go. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there. And he'll give it here to his running back. Breaks the tackle now with Alley. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there. On his way to a half touchdowns as the Bears push further out in front. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run a link. Going to give this time to the tailback. Room here to run. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there. This clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. He's got daylight. 30. 10. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi <coughs> Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.